want that gate open and I want it now! Put your girlish backs into it! Harder! What are you, Athenians? God's no mercy. We are doomed. Quiet yourself. The child spoke of the Persian ghosts, led by the monster Hydanes. They are the hunters of men's souls. They cannot be killed or defeated. Not this darkness. Not these immortals. For their deeds here, I swear by the gods, no Persian will ever sleep without fear again. The very name Hydarnes will become a new emblem for suffering. They were wise not to tarry here. Perhaps not so wise after all. Spartans, heads up! <laughs>
them once was not nearly enough, my lord. There is not enough Persian blood to sate our spears. There isn't enough Persian blood. But we shall make do at the hot gates. Come, we march. To stay undetected, perhaps... We slew more Persians than the number of villages we avenged. And yet the girl's death weighs heavily on us. And upon Leonidas most of all. The tree was a message. The Persian God King knows we're coming. And he is unafraid. As yet, we're only an angry bee buzzing in his ear. As dusk fell, our king plans a bold retaliation. Xerxes should fear us yet. Leonidas leads us several leagues beyond our route to the hot gates. He leads us to the coast, where our enemy's navy lies. We travel down the cliffside to a temple of Poseidon. But Leonidas does not seek the blessing of the sea god. He brings us to strike a blow. Make the Persian feel the Spartan sting. He plans to attack the enemy's navy. Though not by sea. It's mere chance that leads us to come upon the Persians desecrating the temple. We look upon it as a gift. My lord, perhaps a distraction. There is opportunity here to spread chaos. Hey, did you hear something? It's just the horses. 